Well, hey there, everyone, and happy Thursday. I'm Fox 10 News meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with a look at your forecast. And in case you're watching us on Facebook Live, just let me know, comment saying, hey, happy Thursday. Also, let me know where you're watching from so far for today. What we're starting to see is nice conditions out there. Some mostly cloudy skies, but still some peaks of sunshine out there. And those temperatures beginning to warm up. We're starting to see more of those 60s. But that's around average for how we should be feeling this time of year. Now, the good news, your Thursday, your Friday, your, even your Saturday, they're going to be looking great. However, we've been talking about it for a little over a week now. Rain chances, they are coming back into the forecast and pretty on par with what December's been doing so far. It's going to be coming into play for the weekend, but especially by the time we get closer towards Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So let's go ahead and take a look at what your forecast is looking like out there. Uh, hello to Winford watching in Gulf Shore so far to begin for this Thursday. But again, right now temperatures resting in the upper 50s, some lower to mid 60s out there. Over the next few hours, temperatures, we're going to be falling. We're going to be seeing more of those lower 50s even by the time we get closer towards 7 o'clock, upper 40s heading into the overnight hours. But the thing to keep in mind really is those uh, cl that cloud cover. That's what's going to be coming into play, keeping us from dipping down as much heading into the overnight hours. Taking a look at our future cast, timing things out, heading into the remainder of today. Staying dry. It's going to continue to stay that way. Things looking fantastic overnight and continuing heading into your Thursday morning. Now, I mentioned those overnight lows not as chilly, possibly some upper 30s for our inland areas, but mainly expecting a range of the 40s, even the lower 50s for our coastal spots. Again, that cloud cover, it's going to be keeping us from dipping down as much. It's still going to be on the chilly side, just not as cold, not quite seeing all of those frosty conditions to begin your Friday. Now, take a look at the rain chances. Today, quiet. Friday, quiet. Even heading into Saturday, really expecting quiet conditions. That 20% comes into play early into Sunday morning, truly. So it's going to be that night as we get closer towards sunrise heading into Sunday morning. But taking a look at the rain chances for Sunday and Monday, that's when things get a little bit different. That's when they're really going to be on the rise heading into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Also, hello to Katherine Johnston watching from Mobile. Again, in case you're joining me, just go ahead and let me know. Let me know that you're here. Uh, but focusing more also on the weekend before we get there, heading into Saturday, we have the 68 Ventures Bowl. And that's going to be the South Alabama Jags taking on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. In case you're going to be heading on out towards this game, things really looking nice. We're going to be seeing the 50s for the majority of the game, mostly cloudy skies. And for some of those rain chances, I only have that 10% there once things are wrapping up isolated sprinkles enough to maybe just feel it on your hand maybe at some point feel that but not enough to disrupt anything with the game it's going to be looking great out there seeing more of those mild to cool temperatures in the 50s so nothing too uncomfortable and nothing that you have to really bundle up for truly some pleasant football weather heading into the 23rd for that 68 ventures bowl now as you do look ahead towards christmas eve and christmas day here's those rain chances that i had mentioned so keeping that 60% on Sunday, 70% on Monday might go back and forth between those numbers. But really what you need to keep in mind, Sunday, Christmas Eve, we have those chances coming in again at 60%, mainly for the afternoon and the evening. On Monday, Christmas Day, it's mainly going to be for the morning time. The good news is that models are consistent with having a lot of that rain clear out by the time we get closer towards after lunchtime. So Christmas Day, in case you have afternoon plans, it might be looking a lot better out there. So in case you can move back some of those plans, in case you have a nice meal and you want to have it outdoors, temperatures are going to be in the 60s, but if you can push it back just a little bit more, then you might be looking a little bit better. But let's go ahead and see what that looks like on our future cast. So we're starting off Saturday morning. Again, expecting things to be nice. We see more of that cloud cover rolling in. That's when the 68 Ventures Bowl is going to be taking place this Saturday. You make your way into the overnight hours, and then you can start to see that rain really increasing heading into Sunday morning, so Christmas Eve morning. In case you're heading out to church this day, earlier services, they're going to be feeling okay. They're going to be more on the dry side. In case you're pushing them further on into the afternoon, rain gear might be needed, so just keep that in mind. We'll really start to see those chances ramping up heading into Sunday night 
heavier pockets at times. Also starting to see the potential force and thunder and lightning out there. Rain chances continue heading into the overnight hours. So we get closer towards midnight into from Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. We start to really see some of that rain beginning to move in. And then as we make our way into Monday morning, Santa is going to have a wet ride here across the Gulf Coast. Rudolph is going to be needed because starting off Monday, you can really start to see some of that heavy rain possible to begin Christmas Day. And then we turn more isolated, heading closer towards lunchtime. And then take a look at that. By the time we get really past 1 o'clock, this continues to keep that rain pushing out of here. And the good news is that models are staying pretty consistent with that. And it, they keep us dry for the remainder of Christmas Day. And then heading into Tuesday, isolated sprinkles possible. Even then, that future cast updating to keep us even more dry. Now, taking a look at our full seven-day outlook, daytime highs continuing in the 60s every single day. Overnight lows not as cold, so really not going to be seeing any more of those frosty mornings for the seven days ahead of us. But we're going to continue to watch this. Again, some changes still possible, especially with the timing of that rain. Just make sure you stay updated with Fox 10. We'll continue to monitor those chances, keep you updated. Um, we have that Fox 10 weather app that you can download in case we have any of those push alert notifications to send you. You'll be the first to get those. Plus, also, you'll have that radar in the palm of your hand with a Futurecast option as well. So, we're, again, we're keeping a close eye on that. I hope everyone has a fantastic Thursday. Probably a lot of last-minute shoppers out there. And don't worry, Thursday, really today, Friday and Saturday looking great. Sunday and Monday, not so much. But, again, just rain in the forecast. We still need some of that. We'll continue to watch and keep you updated. Have a fantastic Thursday, everyone.